Hello and welcome back to Battletech Career Mode. We've got a big one today. We are in fact doing one of the campaign flashpoints, the one above Appian. And uh, this is called Hourglass. Three and a half skulls. Our employer is Darius. But this is against the Bauman group. So I know one person who is out for blood. And don't worry, Yorgi, you will be on the front line in each mission until you get injured. Uh, <laughs> which is probably going to happen. But anyway, let's begin, shall we? Okay, Commander. I've performed a sensor sweep of the planet's surface to confirm Farrah's intel, and everything checks out. The Dobrev is moored at a spaceport about 200 clicks beneath our feet. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there you go, the Dobrev. Nice work, Doc. You've, d you've really done us proud. Don't start celebrating yet, Yang. There's a snag. We can't move on the spaceport, at least not directly. The whole complex is surrounded by turrets. Besides, the moment the Dobrev's replacement crew catches wind of us, they're going to try to run. And injure themselves terribly when they attempt to when they attempt to KF jump? May even destroy the ship. I don't get the feeling that Notka Bauman gives, uh, gives two shits about his hired help XO. The Bauman group has jumped the Dobrev before, and if we back these people into the corner, they will absolutely do it again. That is almost certainly true. We've We've all dealt with Notka Bauman. We know what he is, the illiterate fool. We know what that man is like. He wouldn't hesitate to maim his own employees if he felt he could profit from it. Thankfully, I believe that we, the Modderborn and I, have found a solution. Just a moment, I'll put it on the view screen. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. What you're seeing is a security post about 20 clicks north of the spaceport. If we capture this site, we can bring down the turrets and remotely engage the spaceport's docking clamps. Two birds of one stone. <clears throat> With the clamps engaged, the Dobrev won't be going anywhere. Even the Bauman group wouldn't try jumping a ship that's locked, to, <laughs> locked down to the tarmac. That's the play then. We hit the complex, transfer control of its computers to the Modibion, and then move on the spaceport. We know what we're doing, people. Let's get it done. Get her done. Right, fine. There it is, Hourglass, Dr. Murad. Okay, so this is a capture base as we're probably gathered from that anyway. Alright, so. Now you might notice there's two people that are injured, Ace and Battleaxe. <laughs> they got into a bit of a fight. Um, basically, they had a little bit of an argument and uh, decided, well, I decided, hey guys, how about you settle it over a boxing match? Uh, they both agreed. And uh, so they both come out of it injured. I think Ace possibly won. I'm not sure though. I think he might have. Sorry. Sorry, Tyria. <laughs> but anyway, uh, three and a half skulls. We can definitely take in some half decent mechs here, that's for sure. I think we're going to go Headhunter. We're going to go with. Uh, maybe we decide on the mechs first. Augie. Maybe Augie and the Stalker might be a nice one. There's three and a half already. Maybe not that. Maybe we go Catapult. What can we get away with here? Yeah, we'll go Catapult. Grasshopper, which could be pretty good for Sonya. And then... Hmm. No, the Warhammer isn't... This isn't ideal for the Warhammer. Oh, that's still a bit heavy, isn't it? Oh, wait, we are, we are, we are looking to go four. Sorry, yeah, of course. No, that is absolutely what we want to do. Definitely. Okay, we've got multi-target, breaching shot, abattoir. I think abattoir or lifeblood would both be very good at this. Maybe we'll give it... Like so it's a capture base. So I'm wondering... Hmm. Maybe we switch it up a little bit. And we'll save Headhunter for the next mission, because I thought that's going to be a big one. But let's test out the Battle Master, because we can. And we're going to give, uh, I think I might give Sheriff a go in that. Breaching shot, though. No, you know what? We're going to give Lifeblood because he's got Coolant Vent. And that way we can really push this thing to the max. Okay, lasers, lasers, LRMs, jumping lasers. Maybe not the best on a desert planet, but we have Coolant Vent is the main thing, so let's go. All right, we get a full salvage, right? So maybe we should have gone for some headshots, but it's all right. We're just going to come in here and have some fun. Okay, Commander, I've set a lance down just outside of Bauman Group's visual range. Defense will probably run on the heavy side, so I'd recommend approaching it with caution. Yes, but not too much caution. We need to take this facility stat so the Modibion can lock down the 
the dock breaks clamping, uh, docking clamps. This mission won't count for much if the ship runs off again. Don't worry, Doc. We won't leave on our bear hanging, and we won't let the dock breaks escape. We can't. We we can't. The rest of our mystery mech is hidden away on that ship. That's the theory, and we're going to investigate it. But first, we engage the clamps. The clamps. Ready for orders. Okay. Move. Be there in a jet. Absolutely. No problem. Yep. Okay. How far have we got to go? Pretty far. We've got some high ground up here. Is that worth anybody using? Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, hello. Run right into an enforcer and a griffin. I'm not overly worried then. Catapult can come back here. Grasshopper just as far as possible, really. Six evasion sounds nice. All right. Got a good bit of evasion. Looking forward to testing out this battle master. You're going to run very hot in this environment. Not really enforcing much, are you? Hmm. And as for the griffin. Okay. Not the most terrifying start I've, you know, Holding ever had. Alright, I guess we'll start this off with the... Yeah, you know what? Let's start this off with the Battlemaster. New sensor contact. Oh, is there? So there is. A f another 50 tonner. Let's go precision strike. And... I mean, you don't really have much going on, do you? Let's just see if we can... I don't know. Got it. Get rid of that evasion. Right leg, right torso. Both gone. Inflicted some heavy damage. That was a lot of lasers. Hey. Sorry, orders. pal. Alright, let's see what you're left with. Still got armor. Waiting for orders. Can we move the Black Knight in here? Heading out. Maybe we go for the other leg? Well, both legs are gone. Lovely. We can that. Actually, yes, yes we can. Commander. That was kind of the strat there. Uh, they both have cover in different forms. Let's get eyes on the mech down there, because maybe it's not in cover. Uh, only a little bit. Has evasion, though. That's just not worth it because of the sheer amount of cover you have. Am I right? I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm right in saying that. Keep the small lasers. Copy that. Okay, and you're tagged. You have orders? Always worth it for the tag, right? Have no doubt, it will be done. 65%, 95%. Well, luckily, we've got breaching shots, so... Yeah, we'll do a little bit of this. A nice. Oh yeah, I think everybody's ready. Everybody's definitely feeling it. Ooh. Try as you might, Mr. Enforcer. All right, here we go. Hunchback's gonna do its thing now. That wasn't really much of a thing. Too afraid to use those lasers because of the evasion. Man, we are losing that evasion. What are you going to do, little enforcer? Though? That is the question. Well, it doesn't really matter because we're going to go ahead and do. Yeah, I think we'll do this. Just have everything targeted on again. Roger that. Right arm gone. Okay. What's the plan? The plan? Of course. He's still in cover here, just a bit closer. Don't like you. I like there we go. I think the hunchback's the next one, given its severe lack of evasion. Target acquired and locked in. Right torso gone. Very nice. Right here. 
Okay. And that's a knockdown. That's dead. Not sure who I want to go for here, actually. I think we'll go, go, we'll go cool and vent. And we'll go for the kill. I suppose. Might as well. Just take it out. <laughs> so much damage. Thank you. Alright. And over here. I'm going to call it vent again. Gosh, this thing does run very hot. Possibly a bit too hot. And that's the problem with the large laser, isn't it, really? Possibly. Uh, but that's okay, we can do this. I only got the right arm. I mean, it was an untargeted strike, so... What do I expect, really? Well, we're all in cover now, so you kind of had your chance to do more damage earlier. Heavy damage. Ooh. That's alright. The Battlemaster is tough. Reporting. Right, same again. We're going to go and split the difference. So it's such a nice way to soften them up, really, isn't it? Good. Standing by. And over here, we're going to do this. On my way. Oh, there it goes. Great job, Sonia. Loving all these punches, aren't you, today? I think we've made some improvements to the Grasshopper as well. I actually improved one of its, I think, small lasers, so somehow it's even better. There's always a way to make it better. Alright, let's just stick to sort of the hits here, shall we? Oh, maybe we'll take off a few of these large lasers. There we go, that looks good. That was a head hit? Yeah. Right in the face. And something similar again here. Right, we're obviously going to shut... Sorry, take some of these offline. Go for this. Just the mediums and the SRMs. Lovely. Head hit destroyed. Fan freaking tastic. Guys. Lifeblood. You two. Jeez. Alright. Let's get moving. I've got eyes on the security complex commander. Take it out. And then we'll hit the road. Alright. That's a nice sprint right there. Let's maintain a. Hmm. Uh, they're supposed to be turrets, no? I guess let's maintain a high position here. I don't see anything, though. Confirmed. No, there's like nothing there. Maybe we'll come down here then. We're going to get attacked from behind. Is it one of those? Might be, actually. Location confirmed. In the cat spot over there. In the water. Okay. What do we got? got Incoming transmission. Not Kabalman. You're quite persistent, Commander Chimpy. Like a bad rash. I just can't seem to get rid of you. I forgot what his voice was. I could crack the obvious joke about that, but it's just too easy. What's coming for you is no laughing matter. I've hired a new kill team commander. They'll keep you company while my ground crew prepares the Dobrev for departure. We've got new heat signatures, commander. Incoming mech. Assault class. Get on it, commander. Take them out quick. All right. Will do. Try and do. My gosh, this is an assault spider. They weren't kidding. <laughs> assault mech. Cast to a spider. <laughs> Uh What's the plan? What's the plan? Well Commander. Right, that Phoenix Hawk is annoying. There's a battle master of their own. That's cute, isn't it? How sweet. Hmm. All this evasion's a bit rubbish, really. I think I'm gonna go reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. How dare you? 
Right, Grasshopper needs to move first, so Sonia, let's go ahead and utilize that water. Given the fact that you're probably going to be the primary target as well, I think we're also going to use Vigilance. And we're going to go for the Orion. You're already damaged. That's interesting. 870. They actually have the same armor. Well, we're going to go for the Orion anyway. Alright, you're tagged. Very nice. Means our lasers do more damage. Oi. Steady. Commander. Can only hit if like these two. Well, that is what it is. And we missed. Wonderful. Great shot. Was that like a 95%? I didn't actually look to see what the uh, hit chance was whatsoever. Yes, Commander. Alright. All out. Nice. Right torso gone. That's really handy because then there's no oh, auto cannon. So the Orion is a little bit weaker. Which is very, very good. Very good for us. On my way. Keeping cover for now. For now. Maybe they'll move into cover. Okay, nice. That was some good damage. And the increased damage. Did you see that was like 76 or something? Mad. On one of those lasers. <laughs> ah, no. How could you? How could you? I kind of want to just punch him back, but then we're facing, you know, the wrong way there, aren't we? However, we could also do this. I think I might do. Once again, we're going to go with Vigilance because we don't have as much evasion. Uh, yeah, look at this water cooling has really helped us, hasn't it? There we go. Right. Get rid of the little pest. Hostile removed. Thank you. I mean, it is like, what, 35 damage when it melees? Something embarrassingly pathetic. Reporting. Minimal damage. Right, Phoenix Hawk is yes, uh, making its... making itself more of a target, isn't it? Uh, oh, let's try this. I mean, worst case scenario, it gets knocked down, right? Okay, good stuff. Uh, nice. Yeah. What can I do you for? That's interesting. Drop pod due to come in here. I don't like that. Is that R1? Maybe. Alright, uh, let's go for... I mean, we don't need all of these, do we? So let's just go with this. There we go. Thank you, Abattoir. Tangle down. Oi. It's okay, we've got armor. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, that was a bit much, wasn't it? I think it's time to get everybody in here. Let's see if we can quickly remove the Phoenix Hawk. I'm happy just going for a center torso smack. I'm good so far. Yeah, m old machine. <laughs> machine gun ammo explosion. Fantastic. I mean, that was exactly what I wanted to happen, really. Okay, over here. I think we'll come and... Mm, it's no longer in water, though. Also, we're a bit closer. So, actually, yeah, we don't, want, we don't want him to be able to melee us. Time to tag this. you still got pretty much full armor, so... I think you can handle a barrage. And you're tagged. Excellent. You have orders? You bet I do. Oh, this is deep water, that's why we can't really do anything about it. Oh gosh, this is... What is all this? I feel like I'm in a bit of a bad spot here. So let's kind of come around this way. Alright, fire. Not multi-target. We need to get rid of a few things, I reckon. Uh. Hmm. Anything good in the arm? 
Not really, no. Target acquired. Ah, nice. Target's taken a critical hit. Reporting. Do you want to just, I don't know, yeah, unload yours? Ah. Alright then. Yep. That's fine. We can take that. I'm here. Hmm. No real good spot, is there? To get more lasers in. <laughs> Only got these two. Uh that would be enough though. <laughs> there it is. Leopard inbound commander. I'll be touching down directly. Oof. That was close. Ooh. That's done it, Commander. I've gained access to the, the complex's computers and transferred the co transferred control to Modibion. Thank you, Doctor. I have deactivated the space turrets and engaged the spaceport's docking clamps. The Dobrev won't be going anywhere without my permission. Hang on a second. I'm getting a comm message over an unknown channel. Bauman again. I'm sure, but wait, Mother, this can't be happening. It just... Can't. What is it, Mayor? Who do you have on the line? It's the goddamn Black Widow. That's who. Did I miss something, Commander? When did our search for the Dobrev turn into a meet and greet of Natasha F. and Kerensky? You'd better put her through, Mayor. If there's one mech warrior we don't want to leave hanging, the Black Widow is here. That goes for you too, boss. Better get to the view screen and you'd better do it now. Mission successful. Oh. Black Widow. Kerensky. I'm sure it'll be fine and she just wants to say hi. I'm sure there's a uh, no problems whatsoever. All right, we got all the loot. There's no money to be had, obviously. I'm gonna take a look at all of this. A lot of stuff, plenty of stuff. Grab that bit of a battle master. We'll grab the part of the Orion. That makes a full one. Rather pleased about that. There must be some good weapons. Yeah, of course there are. We've got a lot of these now. These. Plus 10 medium lasers. I must say a lot. I do mean a lot. Nothing else good in terms of uh, utility. 55 ton of griffin. Yeah, I guess we'll finish it off with that griffin that we took out the two legs of. Yeah, and then the rest is just a bonus. Cool, we actually got a lot mech -wise. We even got part of the hunchback to make a, a complete one. That's nice. Yeah. Alright, very good. Very good. Quite a collection of uh, lost tech weapons. That mech you wanted is back online. That mech is ready to fight. That mech you asked for. That mech. That mech Four mechs. Four online. mechs. That is so much. Awesome. All right. Really good stuff. I have to sell those at the black market. Okay, hourglass two. Black widow. I'm Darius Oliveira, XO of Chimpy's Banana Bandits. <laughs> Tell us what you need, and I'll do my best to make it happen. I called to talk to Commander, the commander of Chimpy's Banana Bandits, not a switchboard operator. Put Chimpy on the screen. He's down below, Black Widow, I'm right here. Good, I don't want this to take any longer than it has to. You've been shadowing the Dobrev, trailing it to its every port of call, having friendly chats with the Bounty Hunter, a man who I've publicly marked for death. He isn't our friend, he's a grandstanding asshole who gave us a crate. But you received that crate, took it onto your ship. You still have what you still have what you found inside. Guilty as charged, what's it to you? The contents of that crate don't belong here, and neither does the ship they came from. The Dobrev has a history that you can't know, Chimpy. It shouldn't exist, and neither should its payload. That derelict is a problem, and I intend to solve it. Why are you telling us this? Because words are cheaper than bullets. But don't mistake my willingness to talk for weakness, Chimpy. Every word from my mouth carries an ultimatum. You'll follow my instructions. If you don't, your company will die. Alright, tell us what you want. I want the Bounty Hunter's crate, along with anything else that came from that derelict. The machine intelligence you're babysitting too. Dump everything at the Bauman Group spaceport. I want it piled near the Dobrev when I arrive. So... So you can slag it all in one go? That's right, I value efficiency. You've heard my demands, Chimpy. Meet them and you'll escape of your life. Do anything else, and you won't. The choice is yours. 
What the shit? Did anyone know any... Did anyone know what any of that was about? Not a clue, but her name is Natasha Kerensky, and we're chasing General Alex... Uh, Alexander Kerensky's exodus. That can't be a coincidence, can it? Could she be the descendant of his, perhaps? Yeah, sure, in the same way that everyone named Patel is related to all other Patels, and <laughs> all the people named Smith live together in a communal farm on an, uh, Atreus. <laughs> Point taken. Still, the Dobriff has been floating out in the deep periphery for the last 50 years, and who knows where before that. The Black Widow shouldn't know anything about that ship. Nobody should. None, none of this matters right now, Doctor. We have a serious problem. If the Black Widow Company reaches the spaceport, there's nothing we can do to keep the Dobriff safe. It's too large a target. If the docking clamp's in place, our derelict will be a sitting duck. Hmm. We have to disengage the clamps. Get me knocked to Bellman. Here he is. Calling to gloat, Chimpy? Or do you intend to demand a ransom for my ship? You won't get it. I already have reinforcements on the way. We're releasing the docking clamps. Run. <clears throat> I still have material in the spaceport. You will allow my crew to take it aboard the Dobrev before it departs. Anything that isn't the shot belongs to us now, Bowman. Don't try our patience. Take your goddamn ship and run. Huh. There you go. Two steps forward, two steps back. But at least we have a shot at scooping up whatever they left at the spaceport. We'll have to beat the Black Widow there to do it. She'll be as eager to destroy whatever contraband Bowman left behind as we are to acquire it. God help our warriors if they have to face off against the Black Widow. Sounds to me like we need a distraction, something to peel the angry lady away from her lance. You think your drones would be up up to it, Mama Bear? It sounds like the Widow. Uh, sounds like the Widow had you on her, li her hit list. She called you out specifically. If you took a swing at her, she'd probably sit up and take notice. Agreed, Chief Vertinen. I will do what I can to lure her away from the rest of the company. That's what I'd like to hear. Come on, Doc, you're with me. Let's go. Let's get our salvage team ready for the drop. And Exo, you'd better give our mech warriors the mother of all pep talks. They're gonna need it. Oh boy. I really do wish we had Battle Axe free for this one. Unfortunately, we don't. Uh, that's okay though. We are gonna have one hell of a lineup. And we are gonna go four and a half skulls as well. Rather than just four. So, naturally, we are gonna take the Marauder out. And that will be headed by Headhunter. We are also going to take out, yeah, I guess Augie again. I think this time possibly in the Stalker. It is a desert though. The Catapult served us quite well there. I may make that my lighter mech and kind of just go a little bit heavier the rest of the way. Uh, we are also going to go with Sheriff. I think. And what can he take? Hmm. We can go a little bit heavier, but not massively heavier. I think this might be. Yeah, I think we're going, going for Highlander sounds like a, a cool idea. The Black Knight should be good. Alright. Yeah, four and a half skulls. I like that. Sheriff in the Black Knight is pretty good. Sonya in the Highlander, obviously that's great. Augustus is, has done really well on the Catapult. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously I'd under in the Marauder. Okay. There's our lineup. Let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go on our base defense. All right, Commander, I've just set you down in front of Balmer Group's abandoned spaceport. Farrah Yang and their team should be already inside. Can you confirm that, Yang? Yeah, Maya, we're in here, but calling this whatever this spaceport is an awful charitable, uh, awfully charitable of you. What we're standing in is a chop shop and a poorly organized one at that. See, that they're used to this Bowman Group, aren't they? You need to get your team to work. If the rest of our mystery mech is boxed up somewhere in that complex, they'll have a limited time to find out what is this mystery mech. Understood, XO. For my part, I'm working to crack the encryption on the facility's computers. If they contain information about where the Dobriff is going next, I promise you, you will find it there. I will find it, sorry. I uh, hate to interrupt, but the party's about to get started down there. I've got a lance of hostile mechs converge on the spaceport. The Black Widow herself is nowhere to be seen, so I guess that Yang's Let's Throw Modibjorn drones at her plan is working. For the time being, it appears to be. For the time being, it appears to be. That said, I suggest you engage and destroy her lance mates as quickly as possible. The Black Widow is already inflicting ruinous damage on my combat drones. I won't be able to keep her occupied forever. Computer, we need to buy Farah and Yang as much time as possible. Sorry, Commander. <laughs> keep the Black Widow company away from that complex. I'll call any complications as they arise. Great, that's about all you can do anyway. Ready for orders. You know. Okay. 
Right, everything kind of sort of appears up here first, right? Copy that. Right, you can stay at the front. Anything? No sign of anything. There we go, up there, yeah. I've forgotten the order of this, uh... Move into position. How, yeah, how does how, how is it ordered? It's up front, here, then it's down there, and then it's the other side. Or sometimes at the same time, actually. Right, four buildings yeah, must survive. That's okay. Apparently this is a direct shot. You know what, let's try it. Sure, just go right into the rock. Left we go. There it is. One down. That's a kill. Ooh. Alright. More mechs. That's a blackjack. I do have orders. Oh, what do you don't? Over here. More interested in making sure that we lower some evasion. Just to make the shots a bit easier. Okay. Standing by. I think this is a job for the Black Knight. Moving out. Alright, best of luck. Go on, Sheriff. Okay. You know what? That might not be the worst shots over here on the blackjack. Well, it wasn't amazing. But, you know, it was something. Yeah, I guess we'll get into that sweet spot, right? Here it is. The sweet spot. And uh, finish it off. Yep, yeah, it's gone. Ouch. Right, Blackjack coming out of cover. Very smart decision making there. We've got one over to the left. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's just uh, do everything we can here. Nice. Really nice. Taken a critical hit. And I want the Black Knight next. Okay, Sheriff, do you think you can get the kill here? That would be really valuable. Oish. Yeah, we're going to get that kill. Pretty sure. Nice. Because now we can move the Highlander back to intercept reinforcements. So that's something I think I want to do. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, very good. Yeah. Like enemy reinforcements. Don't know where they are. I can hear them. I can hear the beeps and the boops. But me no see beeps and boops. Are they over there? Orders. Is it the one over here? Yeah, it was that one. Hmm. Shame we can't see it anywhere. Makes me wonder what it is. Good chance to cool down though. No shooting, just running. Alright, very good. Yeah, there's more over here as well. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna have this building. That's that's alright. That is what it is. I mean, that's barely even possible, is it? Yes, Commander. Are there actually stuff over here? Pretty sure there must be, right? Hmm. Debating which way to go. I'm going to move you in the middle, because I'm, un I'm uncertain. But again, a chance to cool down. Awaiting orders. And just because we can, we are going to do this. If we don't get the headshots, at least we've already done some damage, right? 
receiving you. I want to make sure that there is stuff over here. There's nothing there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Intriguing. That's giving you some evasion as well. Hmm. Waiting for orders. You know what? You stay exactly where you are. No, move back slightly. Move back even more. Hmm. There it is. Yeah, that's fine. Roger that. Best shots available. Didn't quite get it? That's okay. We can finish you off. Solid connection on Otherwise. A lot of that armor's gone. So it's gonna be losing components from here on. We've got another 40 LRMs coming in. There's an assault on the field as well. I'm starting to see them. 40 tons. How might I help? Turn to face this way. Just in case something bad happens. Go for that. Right, left leg gone. Reporting. Critical hit. What's up, boss? Black knight. Well. Over here. Yeah, just fire everything. I know it's gonna be an overkill, but both legs gone. Oh right, also actually, yeah, no. Hostile eliminated. Very nice. What Very nice shooting, fight? actually. We might as well continue sprinting this way. Maybe we can get some flanking shots in a turn or two. Okay. Still nothing here. Let's reserve a turn because they can't see anything. They're just going to spend their turns moving. There we go. That's more like it. Maybe. Yeah, just about. I think from here. It's not in cover. I get you on the move. But it should hopefully be good enough. Yeah, we're gonna have to lose one of the lasers. Lose one of the ones that's not the best when it comes to aiming. And it's gone. Nice. Great shot. That was the time to really hit the gauss there because it wasn't cover, or it was guarded, I should say. What's the plan? Uh, nothing now. How might I help? Right now, we see what we can do here. Still nothing. On the move. That's fine. Full speed. You have orders. I guess just sort of chill. Waiting for Literally. Orders. Right here we go. Sprint the Black Knight over. Okay. Mm. Good to go. Oh, this is fine. I hope. <laughs> really don't know at this point. Yeah, we're, we're reaching that stage. We may just need to take a turn to sort of cool off. That's the problem for going up with all these extended range medium lasers. They do use up a lot of heat. All right, double headshots. <laughs> okay. Hostile eliminated. Feel like it's always worth trying it now, especially now that we've got the better lasers. What's the plan? No, oh, hello. Almost, almost a shot on the back there. I don't think it is, but it's close, isn't it? You're only slightly guarded. Yeah, we'll do more damage against you. Here you go. Alright, that's a lot of armor melted. We'll go multi-target, of course. Lovely. And some more. Standing by. Now we're coming to play. Hello. Surprise. It's very nice to meet you. Everything. How are you not dead? There we go. <laughs> you just cease to exist. You got damaged by like 500 damage at least there. 
Minimum. Got something you want done? Well, you've gone all. You've gone full guarded. No point really doing much then, is there? Good to go. Hold out for three turns, right? On my way. Right, sheriff, you're going to be running a little bit hot here. Yeah. I'd say. Okay, just that'll do. All the armor has been melted. We're just going to go for sort of regular shots here. How much heat does the, the gas does not use up a lot? Now yeah, we'll just carry on like this. Nice. Awaiting orders. Yeah, probably should have just used one. That was stupid of me. Yes, Commander. Guard yourself all you want. It's not going to be that great for you. Still doing plenty of damage. Inflicted some heavy damage. And a knockdown. Okay. What's up, boss? Might as well stay exactly where we are. Do the exact same thing again. And I don't know what we go for here. The legs, probably? Seems like the better choice. Left torso as well. Oh, there it goes. Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh, he got up. Oh. From hell's depths I strike at thee. Very good. Reporting. Good for you. Uh, yeah, let's punch him. Let's do that. Because it's fun. You're gonna be feeling me now. Not sure if that hit or not. There we go, it must have. Lovely. Well done, he managed to wipe out the Op 4. I can do an extra right, right, right now, no need to get to our planned LZ. Hostiles down for the, mo for the moment, the AO is clear. Can't imagine it'll stay that way for long though. Mordebjorn, do you still have eyes on the Black Widow? Negative, Mr. Oliveira. She is almost certainly on her way to obliterate the spaceport. That's our cue to leave then. We'll see you in orbit, Commander. We've got a lot to talk about. Mission successful. That's very interesting that you want a chance, Mar Dr. Mo Dr. Morad, but we have this whole you know, fiasco going on. Not the time for idle chit chat. Okay. The Black Widow Company. Ooh, scary biscuits. Anyway. Mm, what do we want? They're all kind of crap mechs, really. Any good weapons? They're not crap mechs. They're just, you know, not as good as what I could have, you know, as what I have. Okay. Uh, that mission ended up being easier than the first one, no? Do we all agree? I certainly agree with me. Guess we'll grab the Wolverines. I guess we'll grab a full Shadowhawk. Something to sell. Do do do. All the stuff. Centurions. Yeah, sure. All right. Very good. Very. good. Good. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. All right. So, let's see. Hourglass, Part Three. I can't believe it. We went up against the Black Widow Company, Natasha Kerensky, handpicked killers, and survived. Quite a feather in our capex, so. This win will give us bragging rights throughout the frontier. Yeah, sure. It was a good win, but we wouldn't have anything to brag about if Modibion just. Distraction hadn't worked. The Black Widow is the most dangerous mech warrior alive. Full stop. If she'd made it to that fight, every one of us would be dead. I still don't get why she wants to wreck the Dobrev. It doesn't make any sense. We'll probably never know, but there's one thing we can say for certain. If the Black Widow reaches the Derek before we do, this whole enterprise will come crashing down around us. All of this will have been for nothing. Don't know if I'd go that far, Exo. Me and the Doc... We hit the mother load in that shipyard. With Mordebion's help, I think we might have been able to make those parts the bounty hunter sent us, and by something, I mean an absolute beast of a battle mech. You've got my attention, Yang. What kind of mech are we talking about? I could tell you, but I think I should let Mordebion do the honors. Without its help, we never would have found what we were looking for. You still, on you still online, Mama Bear? Yes, Chief Vertinen. When 
completed, the rebuilt mech will be an assault class brawler in the 95 ton range. Brawler? Uh, with an integrated conventional artillery piece. Oh. That's a hell of a thing. What's it called? The Bull Shark. Interestingly, the insignia on the chassis pieces we de we found depicts a predatory Terran mammal, a wolverine if I'm not mistaken. A curious choice of heraldry to adorn a battle mech named for a shark. Doesn't matter, we'll repaint it in our company's colours before it hits the field. I'm looking forward to seeing this mech in action. The Bull Shark. Ooh. That's quite a prize. I will return to standby status, Commander. Please have Dr. Murat bring me back online when you've picked up the Dobrev's trail. Mr. Oliveira, I suggest that you focus your search on Manth Mantharaka. Oh. Judging by the files I was able to recover, I think that it like I think it's likely that the derelict was taken there, though I could not find the exact coordinates. Even if it's on Mantharaka, a star system is a big place. We're gonna need to narrow down our options and find ourselves some coordinates. I'll put out the feelers again, grease the palms of, an, of a few jump ship crews. Maybe somebody's heard something. In the meantime, we should scrounge up more independent work. It'll be a good excuse to field test our new bull shark. Hell yeah. That's quite a find, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Whoa, hello. Different. Okay, uh, and the other stuff is, you know, it's kind of cool, but the bull shark's the real prize. I've never seen anything like this, Commander. This mech oozes deadly grace and can obviously devastate anything in its path. It's otherworldly, but clearly influenced by Star League tech. It has mounted artillery piece to boot. I wonder where it came from. Okay, I think this is a good time to maybe get rid of the king crab since this seems like it's going to be... I don't know. A bit more fit for purpose, potentially, or more my style. So yeah, I'm going to lose the king crab, which sounds like a crazy thing to do. But let's take a good look at this. Oh, it's even got everything. Oh, wow. It comes equipped with stuff. I, I thought we had to make it from scratch or something. What? 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 It's got two UAC-5s. That's already pretty impressive. Two LBX-10s. 11 times 8. What? What are the range on the 10s again? 450 meters. Extended range medium lasers. So it's actually got some half decent range to it. The Thumper Cannon. What the hell is this? Bonuses to artillery. Uh, the Thumper Cannon is an integrated heavy artillery piece mounted on the Bull Shark. When fired, it deals devastating damage to all units. Oh, okay, right. I see. It's that one shot sort of thing. Tonnage 10, slots 8. Often destroying lighter mechs and vehicles entirely. Only a single artillery piece may be mounted on any mech. Wow. So this is like... This is this is devastating, and obviously it's got double heat sinks, hence why it even stands, you know, the slightest chance of. I mean, that is, that is not heat efficient. I don't like ammo being stored in the torso, though. I think that might be something we uh, move. So get a look at this baby. This thing is definitely coming out on some big missions going forward. I mean, oops, sorry, they have just uh, gone ahead and knocked the mic brutally there, and I know I'm going to forget to edit that out. We can't remove it. It is integrated. It did say, I think. Uh, there's the ammo. I don't like the armor situation. Uh, we are looking a little bit light, wouldn't you agree? Yes, Commander. We would agree, said the viewer. Uh, it might be worth getting rid of one of these. As wonderful as they are. Ten and a half tons. We can snap that into armor and this thing just wrecks. The extended range medium is these are only one ton each. The only thing is this doesn't generate a lot of heat. Alright, how much ammo do you have? You have eight rounds. Which means we'd only be able to fire this like eight times. If we get rid of one of them, then it lasts a lot longer. We go max out armor. Maybe go for more heat sinking. Might be the way to go. Instead, so we maybe lose half a ton here. Uh, so let's go 85, 85, uh, a little bit off the bat there. It's just a thought. Uh, it's just a thought. I think I am actually going to do this. Double heatsink there. What if we threw... 
I don't think there is anywhere else for that to go. I'd like a gyro, a gyro to be honest. But I'd like this in the centre torso because it's safer there. So we're not really going to need an arm mod because you're not going to be getting up close. That said, we can add it and it doesn't exactly cost anything, does it? If we use like a basic damage one. Yeah, oh, it does actually, so no. None of that then. The resolve gain sounds good. To me, anyway. How about it? Some basic heat sinks just to sort of keep this thing going. We could even go, could have, could have gone for a couple of jump jets, but I don't think that's necessary. AC5, how much is in each one? 15. So that's 15 rounds that the auto cannon lasts for. How much firepower are we looking at? 448. Is that including the thumper cannon? I don't think so. But it means we've got a lot better heat efficiency and being able to do this sort of damage at mid range, you know, that 270 to 360 meter range. Uh, similar there. Somewhat similar there. Yeah, that's quite good. I definitely like going full armor better personally, and I hope you're in, in agreement with me there, because yeah, I'm going to go heat sink. That's a lot better. So we can actually keep firing again and again a bit more often. 45. 45. Yeah, these, see, being able to utilize these extended range medium lasers will be really powerful. Okay. I think that's it. Massive armor. Massive armor, when you think about it. Let's confirm that. So, everybody, that's the bull shark. Freaking beast of a mech, isn't it? I'm so happy. I'll get it in the okay, yeah. Throw you here. I mean, it's just as good as any of the hundreds. Easily. Hmm. This is what. Look at, I, don't, I don't think we can really make any more changes to this, can we? I mean, the only thing I'd consider getting rid of, rid of is one of the sort of utility type mechs, like the Cyclops or the uh, the Cataphract. But the Cataphract would have been good in that one, just to mask the buildings, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if there's any mech I'd want to get rid of. I, I personally like the brawler of the archer here. I just think it's a bit of a... The problem is it's difficult getting it into range, I'm finding. That is the problem with uh, flipping, it, uh, flipping it on its head. Alright, I think we'll leave it there then. So next time, let's have a quick look at the star map, actually. Didn't Montebion say there was a place to go to? I'm sure Montebion did. They've probably gone to somewhere. Is it on this map? I don't think so. It'll just appear when it appears. So I assume it's independent. Oh, hang on. This is different. For the Federated Sons. Against the Jackals. Is that actually against the Pirates or a particular part of the Pirates? I think that's just a different... Yeah, that's different altogether. That's kind of interesting. Um, that sounds like uh, it'll be horrible. That's against the Pirates. No thanks. I don't mind doing this. I actually don't mind doing that. I'm surprised they'd let us do any of that, to be honest. Bit far away, though. Hmm. Right. Well, anyway, uh, something I was meant to say at the start of the video is that the next video is not going to be on the Sunday. It's going to be the following day on Monday because XCOM's going to be finishing. Um, I think completely possibly. So I think it's the following week then that I've done all these sort of campaign analysis videos and... Battletech's going to have a week in the spotlight where it has Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you're going to get battle a Battletech week, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, until next time, though, I might just leave it there. We may go and do this Flashpoints, in which case I'll pretty much just fly straight over. I'll do a few missions in between off camera. We're going to have one video where we're going, going along off camera, I think. I'd like to go to Itrom here because that's got three and a half skulls, so there should, have, there should be some good contract there. So I think next time that's where we're going to end up. And we'll see if we can test the bull shark. All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.